How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to teach you how to manage all your passwords on your iPhone the easiest, simplest and of course safest way possible. We're going to use the Passwords app which is a native Apple application that will manage every single password you have regardless if it's a website password or an application password. For example, let me show you. I'm gonna open up Instagram right here. Let's say I'm logged out, but I already have my account. How can I log in the easiest way possible? Check it out. I'm gonna go with, I already have an account. And as you can see, we already have the Passwords app. All I have to do really is tap on my username, on my account, tap on continue, and of course, Face ID. It's super, super safe. Let's just wait like three seconds and as you can see, we're gonna be logged in on Instagram. Take a look at this. Of course, this is just an example. The Passwords app will work on any app or any website you have. Let me show you how you can actually do this that I just showed you, how you can set it up right now. You know how hard it is to run and grow your business when you have to focus on so many things, like for example, managing your website. And that's why I wanna talk about Kingsta, my favorite web hosting service for WordPress sites. If your website is important to your business, hear me out. I know you want your WordPress site to just work. You want it to be fast. And with Kingsta, it can be up to 200% faster just by migrating. You also want it to be stable, even if it has huge traffic. And of course, you also want high security and 24 seven support. And I'm saying real support with real humans. That's Kingsta. On top of that, their dashboard, which is called My Kingsta, is super easy to use, navigate, and you can get all the information you need just like that. Oh, and they'll actually migrate your website for free completely free. On top of that, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. With Kista, your website and your business will thank you. Go ahead and take a look at the first link I have right here in the description. There is an amazing offer for Kista right now. Go ahead and check it out. Don't waste any time. Now, let's get back to the video. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is make sure you actually have the Passwords app right now on your iPhone. And I say that because a lot of people actually delete this app because they think they download it uh, unintentionally or something like that. So it's very common that this happens. So if you don't have the Passwords app, just open up the App Store, look for Passwords, download it, of course it's free, it's from Apple, as I mentioned, okay? As soon as you have the Passwords app on your iPhone, all you have to do really is keep using your iPhone normally. And then every single time you log in to any account or any application, make sure to add your credentials to the Passwords app. And of course, when you are creating new accounts, creating new logins, do that as well. I'm gonna show you right now how it works. So let's say I'm browsing the web right here and then I'm logging into any service, any website that I already have my credentials, I'm already logged in, okay? Which is this case. So I'm gonna go ahead and log it in once again. So normal, I'm gonna put my email or username and password, okay? And then as I log in, as you can see, we're gonna see this pop-up. And you may have seen it already, but sometimes you just skip it. But that's exactly the Passwords app. So all you have to do really is save password and then automatically the Passwords app will save your credentials. So your username and your password for this website and from now on, you won't have to worry about remembering your login and password ever again. It's gonna be super simple. I'm gonna log out and then log in once again so you can check it out the difference. Okay, so I came back to that exact same website, exact same page, but now as I tap on email address, there we go, the Passwords app asking if you wanna sign in with that account that we have just added. All you have to do is tap on fill password, face ID, super safe, and then automatically it's gonna start logging in. You don't even have to do anything. You're gonna see the indication in yellow saying that it was filled with the Passwords app and then you're good to go. You are logged in just like that, just like you saw on Instagram, for example, you're seen now on a web page. But of course, the Passwords app is great for managing new accounts as well, not only accounts that you already have. Let me show you an example. I'm gonna go here to, uh, let's say, Spotify.com because I don't have a Spotify account. So let's create a new one. Tap here on the three dots at the top right, 
sign up. I don't have an account and the Passwords app is gonna help me with that, check it out. So I'm gonna put my email, so go ahead and type it in. And then as I tap on next, we have here to create a password and that's where the Passwords app shines. Because naturally we have here to think of something, we have criteria to meet, it's so annoying, right? But with the Passwords app, you tap on it, and then as you can see, it's gonna pop up saying, use a strong password. And then as you tap on save and fill, it already does the job. It created a password for Spotify. It already got the correct link, the correct username, which we filled on the previous page, and then the correct password, of course, filling all of the criteria without you having to do anything. Naturally, as you tap on next, it's gonna confirm once again, and then your password is created. And then of course, you'll never have to remember this because the Passwords app will always help you out. I'm not gonna create because I'm not gonna create this account, okay? So it's not gonna be created, okay? So that's pretty much how the Passwords app works. Of course, as you tap on it every single time, it will require Face ID. And then you can, of course, check all your passwords manually. In all, you can see everything you have. You have pass keys, you have your Wi-Fi passwords. So every single Wi-Fi that you have connected will be listed right here with the password. This is super handy if you are, for example, having a party with some friends over in your house and then you forgot your Wi-Fi password, somebody asked you, you can just get it right here from the Passwords app. You have codes, you have your deleted security and so on. Of course, you can also add any password manually. So if you don't wanna go to every single website and manually log into the website, you can simply tap here on plus and then do it yourself. So then you can just type in the website name, username, password, and then tap on save, and then it's created the exact same way. So the next time you're actually gonna be logged into that site, to that application, it's gonna already pick it up just like you saw on my examples. And then an extra tip that's super cool, and not everyone does this, but I think it's awesome, you can actually use the Passwords app because it's super safe to pretty much save any kind of password. So imagine, for example, the passcode that you use to log in to your MacBook, and sometimes you forget it, right? You can put it right here, for example, MacBook and then password, just like that. No problem at all, you can do that. And then you can put the password right here and username, you can put anything that you want. So then you have any kind of password in your Passwords app, not just websites and Instagram and applications, you can do anything that you want. And of course, every single password that's saved in the Passwords app is of course saved to iCloud and encrypted. So then you'll be able to access all your passwords everywhere, on your Apple Watch, on your Mac, on your iPad, on your Apple TV, and so on, because it's in the Apple ecosystem. So that's why I love the Passwords app and I think you should start using it right now. If you already use any other password service, like for example, 1Password or Google Passwords or something like that, you can in fact transfer all of your passwords, so migrate from the service you have to passwords. But since it's gonna take a lot of time to show you everything here in this video, I'm gonna have a link in the description with the major services and players on the market. So then you can check it out and then you can check there the official methods on how you can transfer if you already use something and you wanna migrate to Apple passwords. So that's pretty much it. My simple brief overview on how to use the Passwords app, which you can already tell by the number of passwords I have that I've been using it for years and years and years. All right, so thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next videos with you guys. Bye-bye.